words can really describe the selfless commitment that comes with giving your life to defend and protect your nation. But these values, although first attributed to the commandos in 1940, ring true for every Marine that has served their country over the last 350 years. The first of these fine men were recruited in 1664. They were land soldiers prepared for sea service and held at high readiness. Their first major battle was won in Gibraltar in 1704 during the War of the Spanish Succession. Allied with the Dutch, their courage and determination were duly tested when they stormed, seized and then held the Gibraltar fortress from sieges for nine months. Throughout the 18th and 19th century, they became a key part of a ship's company, ensuring the security of officers and helping maintain discipline within the ship's crew. But more importantly, when in battle, they engaged the enemy, whether firing from positions on ship or fighting in boarding actions. The most notable battle of this time was during the Napoleonic Wars when 2,700 Royal Marines took part in the great victory at Trafalgar. As a direct result of this battle, Britain secured global supremacy at sea. Remembered as one of the bloodiest wars in history, Royal Marines were a vital asset to the Navy and Britain, operating the gun turrets and secondary armament on board ships at sea. On land, they fought heroically in the trenches on the Western Front, in the bold amphibious campaign at Gallipoli, and they led the famous assault on the harbour at Zeebrugge. The war had a devastating effect on Britain and its people. The combined death toll was 16 million, and economic stability was shattered. In September 1939, the world was once again plunged into war. A war so destructive that it cost the lives of 55 million people and turned cities into rubble. 80,000 Royal Marines served their country, operating from land, at sea, and in the air. It was here that the first commandos performed skilled raids on targets in German-occupied Europe. These raiders wore the distinctive green beret that is still worn by Royal Marines today. Together with their comrades manning the landing craft, the Royal Marines commandos were among the first troops ashore during the Normandy landings, the largest amphibious operation in history. They played a leading role in securing the beaches so that subsequent operations could defeat the German army. The retention of the commando role and the associated amphibious capability developed in the Second World War became the focus of the Royal Marines' future. Since 1945, they have seen action almost every year, with 1968 the only exception. When called upon, they've always been ready to go, anywhere in the world, at a moment's notice. Be it Korea, Suez, Malaya and Borneo throughout the 1950s and 60s, or in more recent years, Northern Ireland, Bosnia, Kosovo, the Falklands, 
where they played a major role in recapturing the islands from the Argentinians and protecting the nation's interests and those of our allies in both Gulf Wars. Today's battles vary greatly to those fought in the 19th century, but Marines are a highly adaptable force, and this was proven in the ever-changing landscape of the war in Afghanistan. It began as thankless, kinetic warfare, slowly gaining land and clearing insurgents. This then turned into finding and defusing deadly IEDs, helping to clear and rebuild villages so that locals could return to their homes and feel safe once again. The Marines, together with the rest of the Navy, have been a vital part in providing security, developing governance, and helping secure Afghanistan for a better future. Throughout the battles the Royal Marines have been involved in over the last 350 years, they have lost many men. Men who fought with courage, bravery, and valor, making the ultimate sacrifice for their country and its interests. And they continue to do so to this day. No matter what the challenge, the Royal Marines have the skills, training, and state of mind to deter, defend, and defeat any potential threats to the United Kingdom. And, like those before them, they are prepared to fight and win anywhere in the world.